Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're digitally speaking about the new 2017 eye planner. I'm going to jump right into my good notes. What you're looking at right now is my iPad. And as most of you already know, good notes is my favorite note taking app. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I keep it down here on my dock because it's like I said, my favorite, one of my favorite apps. I'm going to go to my categories and I'm going to select eye planner and that's where I have all my planners from years past and then I created a new subcategory 2017 so I'll go ahead and open that up and here you see all three layouts that the new 2017 eye planner comes in there is a daily and that is a day per page plus you have also a full sheet of notes on every day and you, we're going to show you all of that here in a minute and then a weekly horizontal and a weekly vertical and I also keep in here my sticker and doodles book you may recall some of you may recall that I kept my stickers and doodles in my planner which makes it hard year after year to back all that stuff out and put it in my new planner so now I'm just keeping it separate plus it's a little bit easier to navigate back and forth between the two so that's why I have my separate sticker and doodles book here and then that way I can just keep adding and adding as I create stickers inside Keynote using iDesign alright let me show you the three layouts that the iPlanner comes in I'm gonna go ahead and open the weekly vertical first and of course these are blank and untouched and that's how you'll get them when you download them to your computer and then import them to your iPad so let me just show you some of the different ways that you can navigate the iPlanner when you hit these four squares here you'll see outlines and those are pre-coded bookmarks they're created before this even turns into a good note or a PDF file these are actually created inside Adobe Illustrator when I create the graphics and here you can see we've got the cover the year at a glance and I'm going to show you all of these here in a minute goals the perpetual calendar the 365 day challenge there are also lined paper graph paper and blank paper and these three papers can be duplicated throughout the planner and you could even create your own separate notebook using these and then as we scroll down you can see all the months and when you twirl down these arrows you can see the separate weeks and then of course you've got your eight custom tabs now let me show you what all of these lead to all right so we have our cover and the cover is blank this is how it comes but you can customize your cover because the eye planner comes with a separate spiral or you don't even have to use a spiral for your cover if you don't want to you've got your monthly tabs here on the right and then these blank tabs that you can barely see they're very faded out across the top you can use them or not and that's why I make them so light and and very faded because some people don't use them but if you wanted to use them you can customize these sections you have eight separate ones and it's up to you what you want to put in these sections I have Bible study I have meal planning my food journal I have a task tab that I use my financial tab where I have my budget and my check register and so on I mean there's just no end to how you can customize these tabs to the way you work and the way you use your planner so let me show you some of the navigation and by the way these tabs navigate the same way as all the other tabs in the planner and all the planners navigate the same way there's two ways to use the tabs to navigate you can either 
press and hold and when you let go and it's a long press and when you let go you will see an option to open the link and that will take you to the month that you selected and then all of the days in the planner have a sweet spot as well so to get to a specific day you would simply press and hold and of course I'm going to the fourth and then here I am to the week that includes the fourth if I want to get back to January or the the monthly spread I'll just press and hold open the link and then I'm back to my monthly spread another way to navigate to the months and the days is if you highlight the read only icon up here in the upper right of the toolbar then you don't have to press and hold and you don't have to wait for a menu you can simply tap and it takes you right to that link and what I'm doing right now is I'm going down the monthly tabs which is taking me to the monthly spreads for each month and then of course like I said every day has a sweet spot and then there's another sweet spot that I need to call your attention to and that is the calendar that is on all the weekly spreads in the upper left corner when you tap on that it takes you to your two years at a glance and from here you can tap on any of the months and then it will just take you to the month and then you tap the day and you can get back and this this comes in handy if you're say in a conversation with somebody and they're asking you some specific dates of when you're available or if you're trying to do some reoccurring work throughout the year or over a several months through the year so when you're planning as you can see you can navigate very very quickly through the planner these hot spots are coded when the graphics are made these are done on the computer inside the graphic design software that I use inside Adobe Illustrator so the links won't get lost they won't get broken when good notes updates or when the iPad update they're solid they're coded and they'll last through the whole year okay so let's take a little closer look at the weekly spreads now of course this is the monthly spread and I am going to go to the week of the 6th in February this year I chose not to have banners separating three sections like last year's did the reason for this is I had so many users that were asking to customize their three sections or some of them only wanted two sections and some of them don't want any and they want to be able to customize this themselves and since so many users decorate their pages or their weeks in advance they have the choice at the beginning of each week as to how many sections they would like to use I also have some users that just like to journal all the way through their day or bullet journal this is perfect for bullet journaling because you can put your little icons next to all the tasks that you list throughout the day and they can be carried over to the next day or the following week I also have a lot of users that just Bible journal or they just keep a daily journal and they just want to continuously write without the interruption of the separation and then I have other users that just that separate but they don't separate three sections they'll do four some will do two and they like to use their own colors which leads me to why the tabs are black and white I've had a few emails about the colors that we had last year aren't offered this year since so many users are customizing their tabs down the side and across the top 
and then I have users that just want it to be very minimalistic and they don't want to use any color, I've left them very neutral for 2017. So that's what the vertical weeks look like. You have a section for notes. And then, of course, like I said, you've got your month at a glance here for the month that you are in. And now let's take a look. Let's back up and go to my 2017 category. And let's take a look at the horizontal now. The horizontal is laid out almost exactly like the vertical, except the weekly pages are horizontal instead of vertical. So now you've got your days that start with Monday, go all the way to Sunday. Your notes section is down here on the bottom. And then your month at a glance is right here. Navigation is exactly the same. And you have the exact same pages. You have all your monthly layouts and your sweet spots are on the days to take you to the day. And I also want to show you what is included in the beginning of your planner. Now we talked about the cover and then the two years at a glance and then like I said all the months on two years at a glance are sweet spots so you can navigate to these months from this page. You also have a goal gating page and you can set your goals by month for the next two years all through 2017 to 2018. I started doing this two years ago and last year I set up all my goals for 2016 on a template like this and I found that I wanted to go even further and I wished that I had a sheet for 2017. So I changed it this year and now we have 2017 and 2018. And I literally have all my goals set up through 2018 as far as my business, my personal life, the projects that I want to accomplish. And face it, sometimes these projects take several months. And, you know, we keep it in our head and it doesn't seem as big to us until we start laying it out on a template like this. So all, all three planners come with this form. And like I said, you can duplicate these as well. I actually have some users that use these for their top five goals for the month list out for each month. All right, so the next page, this is a perpetual calendar. I keep birthdays that don't change people's birthdays, family members, friends, birthdays. I also keep holidays that never change here as well. For example, New Year's Eve never changes. Valentine's Day, which is February 14th, that never changes. So I put all those in here you can put anniversaries and like I said birthdays and you can color code them as well and so every month when you begin your planning for the month your monthly planning you'll just look down here and you'll have already several things to input onto your monthly calendar and you can also take this and copy and paste it from year to year the next page is a 365 day challenge here you have a blank line so that you could describe what your 365 day challenge is. Let's say that your 365 day challenge is going to be that you're going to walk more. So you'll just write up in here that you're going to walk more and then you simply highlight or color in the squares of the days that you actually do it. And then at a glance by December you'll see a beautifully colored page and you can also track how often you did or didn't succeed in the challenge. The next page you're going to see is the lined page. I love these pages for adding extra writing space to my custom tabs as well as behind my weeks and my months. 
especially if you're using the weekly spread, the horizontal or the vertical, because these pages don't give you near as much room to write as, as the daily page layouts. This also comes with some graph paper. If you're into bullet journaling, this page is awesome. You could actually turn one of your tabs up here into a bullet journal and you can do all your bullet journaling in one of the sections in your planner while still having the luxury of your monthly calendar and your weekly spreads. And then of course there are blank pages. And those you can copy and paste and you can copy and paste them and make as many duplicates as you would like. Okay, so now let's go and look at the daily. And this is the primary planner that I'm using. And that's why you see my tabs are already customized. And I have a video, step-by-step um, -step video, showing you how to customize your tabs. You don't have to color your tabs. You can simply just write up at the top in your own handwriting or you can type in just black letters what these sections are but I have to go a little step further and color them in. You can also fill them in with pattern paper or photos if you would like and like I said that's a step-by-step -step video that's a separate video and I will actually link these videos that I'm mentioning in the description so that you can go back and look at that if you haven't seen that yet. All right, so this is the daily. The daily is my favorite this year because I really needed more room to write. My head throughout one 24-hour period literally explodes by the end of the day, and I have to get things out of my head, and I love this note-taking area for doing that. I don't have very many appointments but what is nice about this section is you can just put some graphics or some washi over the appointments when you don't have any. And then this whole section right here can be left for journaling or decorating or contact phone numbers, just whatever you want to use this section for. This section was designed for tasks. But nothing is written in stone. You can always overlay a graphic here over the tasks and make this section a whole different area for something else that you need that works for you better. And then contacts, I like to keep this area for anyone that I speak to throughout that day. That way I have it documented because the date is up here and the contacts are here and I usually write down any phone numbers and a little bit of the conversation that was involved. Now the thing about the daily is that you don't get to look at your week at a glance like you do on the weekly spreads but I have my monthly to do that so what I keep on my monthlies are reoccurring things, television shows that I watch on a weekly basis, uh, bills that have to be paid monthly, and reoccurring automatic payments, things like that, birthdays. I also keep track of my YouTube and my social media. I track my stats and my interaction here as well. But on my daily pages, I get more detailed with those things that are already on the month. Another thing that I put on my monthly spreads are appointments. If somebody on the fly says, what are you doing Tuesday the 17th? I'll go to Tuesday the 17th and I will just very quickly jot down a tentative appointment or a permanent appointment and then when I do my weekly and daily planning I look very closely at my monthly so that I can transfer it and put more details into my daily and that way my whole day is planned out. I also section off time when I'm going to be planning or recording or product developing, blog writing, or researching, 
all these things I time block throughout the day and I have from five in the morning till nine at night to block out chunks of time when I'm going to be doing these things. And that again is why I'm using the daily spread. Like I mentioned before, my eye planner is created on my computer inside graphic software, Adobe graphic software. And you'll find that if you zoom in, it doesn't matter how far you zoom in or how close you get, there's never, the graphics never blur or lose focus or pixelate. That's because I use vector software on the computer and all my coding also is done on the computer inside programming software. And before I end this video, let me just real quick show you where the hotspots are on the daily pages. Naturally, they're going to be the same as the weekly. You've got your tabs. These are all the sweet spots as far as the tabs go. But on the daily, if you want to get back to the two year at a glance, you're going to tap on the calendar. And then just like in the weeklies, you can tap any one of these months and it will take you to that monthly spread. And then again, just like on the weekly, you can tap any of the days and it will take you to that specific day. Whereas on the weekly spread, horizontal and vertical, it takes you to that week where you have that whole week that's included. But here it takes you to that specific day. So if I wanted to go back to May and jump over to the 16th, and if I wanted to go to April and jump over to the 10th, or if I want to go to March and then jump over to the 4th, it takes me to that specific day. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you're using the iPlanner, let me know which one you're using. I have a lot of tips and tricks and inspiration coming up this year. and. I also want to mention we now have a Facebook group. It's called iPlanner Digital Planning. And there's a bunch of us over here talking about the iPlanner and how we're using it and which layout we're using. And we're sharing our spreads and our conversation. Also includes good notes and iPad tips and tricks. So be sure to join us there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will get all the information that's coming up, all the tips and tricks and the things that I've got planned for you this year. And I will be chatting with you soon.